I really messed up this time. No, he's right. I don't belong here. No, he's the club president, Pikey. He's testing you. Here, pass me the wrench, will you? Or does he have a point, Prospect? You know, it's not like that. Before you decide, let's take her for a test drive. And Pike, keep the shiny side up. I have been kicked out of every family I've ever known. I thought this one time, I thought it would, I thought it'd be different. Give me a cigarette. You can't have a cigarette in here. Would you like your face like mine? Now get me a cigarette. Smoke it quick. You know, in the old country, my name Ragno means wise leader. What a crock of shite that is. Over the years, I became known as Rags. <laughs> Fitting, considering I spent my entire childhood in them. I doubt my mother thought the irony of that through before she abandoned me, condemning me to an absent childhood at an Irish orphanage. I hate this haircut! Get back here, you blackguard! There's no storm in the night! Alice is our night! Oh, get me out! Good or bad, I got the cane. So I pleased myself wandering around Bray and Dublin. <laughs> How I longed for real freedom. The open road with its endless possibilities at no dead ends or locked doors. I used to wish for a fast forward button to me 18th birthday. <laughs> it would mean the end of my state sponsored imprisonment and Father Francis Mahoney. The only mother I ever knew was nature. She never abandoned me. But nature can't cure loneliness. My dreams of belonging to a family were always betrayed by the thought that I was simply unwanted. I got beaten that often that the other orphans were too afraid to be my friend. <laughs> I had no one back then.
I was especially fed up on this particular day. Me dreams just reinforced me nightmare. I didn't realize that me life was about to change forever. <laughs> hey, kid, come here. Give me that. Give me the bag, kid. Busy <laughs> little fella today, were not you? <laughs> Doesn't really match your clothes. Ooh, here. Skedaddle. Get. Back in a minute, fellas. This brought. Ah, I would say this is yours. Oh, well, thank you very much. Everything's in it. All right, fellas, let's roll. I couldn't believe me luck. These ones are Reverend Custard. Yeah. Yeah. If Father Mahoney caught wind of this, I'd have been beaten within an inch of my life. I had never known kindness or true brotherhood until I literally ran into Sean McCulley and his two whale gang of misfits. Who knew that crime could pay so well? And could taste so sweet? I lost track of time during my brief encounter with happiness. As the temperature dropped, a glimpse of a street clock confirmed I'd be caned when I got back. I was prepared for the beating and the rain, but not much else. Where have you been, boy? Wouldn't do that if I was you, flatter. <laughs> That's a good man. Good riddance, you little fucker. What are you looking at? Here, Rag. Rag. Come here. These are for you. What I want you to do is get into it. Take these things off and burn them in the fire. Do you want to keep? Yeah. To keep? Yeah, absolutely. You're not going to take them back around. <laughs> no, I'm not going to take them back. They're yours. I'll go and change them. Thanks, Sean. You're welcome. Sean, there's my fight. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about it. 
When this future MC rescued me, I was a lost soul. It took years before I realized that this group of bikers would be the only family I'd ever know. They accepted me for who I was, and that was enough for me. So, Rag, you know what your name means? No. It means wise leader. Whoever gave you that name must have must have seen those qualities in you when you were smaller. It's a great name to have. It's an important name to have. See this book? This little book? Who's that? Me. That's right. This is called a passport, right? You need that when you're leaving the country to go into another country. I want you to keep this very safe. And this is a letter I was going to meet you at the other side when you arrived there. You're going now. Keep them safe. Are you coming? No, oh, I'm not going with you. I don't want to go. So the longer you stay here, the worst it is for us. So you're going to America? America? Tonight. But, right now. But, but, but I don't want to go. I hate you! Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Get your gun. Come on. One of the boys is going to bring you. Come on. Come on, let's go. What you call on? These are important documents, so don't lose them when you're inside talking. You understand me? Are you listening to me? Yeah. Here. There you go, kid. Leaving the closest thing to a father I'd ever known, I didn't realize then that I'd soon be embraced by a biker family here in L.A. <laughs> so, so, so... Take a bit of advice from a, a wise leader, Pike. You have the choice of joining this family or not. Only you can decide if you belong. Hey. <coughs> you all right? Hey, get somebody in here. 